Hey, it's Kevin from JJ Hat Center. Um, today, what I'm going to do is we're going to do a little reviewing of the JJ Hat Center website. So I'm going to go through all of the hats uh, that we sell and tell you my opinion of them. You know, if I really like them, or to stay away from this for that reason, or this or that, or what it's good for, who it's good for. So I'll just give you my honest opinion. You know me, I give straight up opinions. Okay, so let's get down to it. Uh, JJHatCenter.com, uh, we're the oldest hat shop around pretty much. Uh, 1911, we're on Fifth Avenue in New York, uh, between 31st and 32nd Street. Yeah, so when you get on the website, I think it brings you right to new arrivals. New arrivals pretty much. Are they able to focus somewhat? sort of focused or something we'll see okay all right their first hat here on the list new arrivals is the bogart now the bogart is a panama hat that i've been selling for i don't know maybe 20 years it comes in every single year from a new york based company a local company that imports them uh, you know, it's Ecuadorian Panama, and they have all the right styling features, the right price, lots of bang for the buck. They're super, super classic. You know, it's just the most classic Panama hat you can imagine around the Bogart. You know, it comes with that feather, but obviously the feather just pulls out. Like that. It's a teardrop, comes in natural, it also comes in uh, bleached, and then it comes in colors, like a caramel color, all black, dyed black, navy blue. Uh, a gray, there's a lot of different colors. Uh, the Bogart's fantastic. The price is cheap. It's genuine hand-woven Panama. You could get it natural, you get it bleached, you get it colored. Uh, inside the, the peak of the crown, you know, like where you kind of like squeeze it, you know, like that part right over there, you know, the little tip. Well, um, that is the part that everybody squeezes. So inside of there, Inside the crown, they have a really good um, reinforcement. It's like a cotton duck cloth that's like epoxied onto the inside of it. Very, very strong. So if you grab it, it's like a safety glass, and it keeps that peak from cracking. Or if it does crack, it doesn't make a hole, and it doesn't fall apart. It holds it together. Um, and that same stuff, that same cotton and like the waterproof duct tape stuff that they like put on the inside of the crown by the peak, they put it right inside the crown, right where the forehead touches the sweatband, but under the sweatband. So in other words, if you sweat through the sweatband, there's this extra layer of this like protective duck cloth stuff to keep you from sweating and permeating through the straw itself. So it's amazing. You open up the crown, it's reinforced in the peak and a little white strip right around there. So it still breathes, but you have these important like features. The first feature that um, Capus Headwear does is that um, that little thing in the front that um, keeps it from cracking. I forgot what they call it. Un unbreakable, I think it's called. It's got a patent. Then they've got the little sweatband thing inside that keeps you from sweating through it. It's another feature they give you for free. Okay. Um, there's a Teflon coating on there for a very light waterproofing and also to hold a just it'll hold everything in with the humidity. It doesn't lose its shape. The Teflon coating is, is another feature they give you. Um, they also have this amazing little wire inside the brown. It's, um, it's, a, it's a wire, an actual wire. If you don't mess with a hat, it's just a regular old snap brim hat. But what it is, it's a fail safe. So if your brim gets really soft and it doesn't want to flip down anymore, you know when the brims just don't want to flip down because they get so floppy? Well, the wire in there acts like a failsafe. What you do is you pull it down really hard. You stretch it down, down, down. You pull it, and then you let go. And it, it bends the wire in a certain way that it fixes the snap, and then it snaps again. It's amazing. All you got to do is just snap it down really hard, pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it, let go, and then the hat snaps. Um, that's an amazing. I don't know what they call that feature. It's got a name to the unsnappable or whatever. Um, but Capus gives you all these great features. They give you classic, classic. They're known for making classical designs. You know, they make the coconut, the telecoco hat that Sam Sneed used to make. They make uh, the boater. Well, they import the boater. They import it from Italy. Um, a lot of the really nice stuff they make is just imported from other people. And they put their bands on it. They put their sweatband and their features in it. Um, 
but essentially they're made by other people, you know, like these are woven in Ecuador by somebody and then they sort of finish it, you know. Um, with Capris, they just give you all these amazing features, features and uh, I could talk about the Bogar all day. The thing with the Bogar is all the colors are nice. The navy, the gray they don't make anymore. Uh, the toast is kind of like a butterscotch color, it looks like like a transparent dye. Yeah. It's a good color to it. I prefer the natural. The natural, and I like the bleach. The bleach is like an eggshell color. It's much lighter. Um, lighter than natural, but it's not white. The gray is discontinued, and the black is what it is, you know. If you need a black hat for the summer that looks like a black fedora, this is hand-woven Panama. And it's a classy quality, you know. Um, but you know, black. It's very conservative. I'm not really that into it. Alright. Um, the classic Panama is basically the same thing as a Bogar with the center crease. All the same features. It's a great, great hat. Um, classic Panama is no more classical than the Bogar. It's just the name we gave it, the classic Panama. Um, the Bogart's the teardrop. Classic Panama is the center crease pinch front. Slightly less brown. It's like two and three eighths versus two and a half, or maybe two and a quarter versus two and three eighths for the Bogart. Just a tiny bit less brown. It's a classic Panama. It's very neat, elegant, simple. Like a classic Panama is, where the teardrop Bogart version is a little bit more, um, how do you say? A little bit more nostalgic. So the Bogart is just like. Same quality, same maker, same everything, but it's a teardrop. Okay. I'm gonna say I prefer the Bogart, but I think their the classic Panama is really nice. The simplicity of it, it's a, it's a low crown, it's great for women, it's great for shorter guys, it's it's a nice center crease, it's not a high ball. Uh, the coconut coconut is made out of coconut palm from you know like a coconut tr tree, like a palm. It's a little crunchy, but they do soften up after a while. They start off crunchy, you know, but you could squeeze it. It's like, and then this crunch stops after, you know, like that spray. It's like a lacquer. When that crunch is sort of softened up, it stops being crunchy, it becomes softer. But they can split in the seams. It's not like they crack. It's almost like the seams open up if you play with them and squeeze them too much. It's a cheaper hat than a Panama. It's not hand woven. But, you know, it's natural straw, but it's woven by machine. And the coconut also comes in a flat top, which was very famous uh, because Sam Sneed, the golfer, used it. We call that the telecoco. Uh, Sam Sneed, you know, was like a legendary golfer, and he used to wear this hat with a, uh, a clip-on band on top of it, which we sell uh, the paisley band. So you can get a paisley band for like an extra 10 bucks, I think, and we'll clip it on for you if you want. And it'll look exactly like Sam Sneed. It's like a, how do you describe it? It's like that summer party hat, you know, it's kind of like you see them in all those nerd movies, Revenge of the Nerds. It's a real cool, casual hat. Um, it's great for golf, it's great for somebody who doesn't want to spend, you know, a lot. Well, it's $95, but 20% off that, you know, you get like 20 bucks back. That's pretty good. 75 for an American made you know, classic straw hat. Um, all right, the thing about uh, coconuts is you do not want to steam them because the steam will take off the glossy finish and it gives them kind of a milky white, like a, a cardboardy milky look to it. And uh, you screw them up. So don't let anybody steam your coconut. Um, remember that. Uh, the Belfast linen is probably one of the best selling summer oddity caps we have. It's by Stetson and comes in every color in the rainbow, natural, black, linen. Um, we sell tons of them. It comes in like a, an eight quarter cap, newsboy shape, I mean, and a, the Belfast is the flat cap, ivy shape. And then they have something called the Hatteras, H A T T A R E S, Hatteras. Which is their newsboy shape. Um, they're about 110 bucks, maybe 125 tops. Um, the Vera, the Vera, and the Vera Wide Brim are brand new Panamas. It's slightly, slightly higher quality than the Bogart. 
that's only $25 more. But they are very, very nice. Um, I think it's made by the same people um, who give us the cactus stuff. But it's a little, little bit, tiny bit upgraded. It's a little bit better. I'm not going to say a tiny better, but it's um, a slightly higher crown, a little bit more elegant. Um, it's got a real cork sniffers kind of authenticity to it. Where I think the um, the classic Panama, the single priest version for twenty five dollars less, is a lower crown, a little bit more laid back, a thinner band. Um, the Vera is very similar. It's a single priest classic Panama. It's just one of our latest ones, so I'm going to say it's it's the latest version of the classic Panama. It's something brand new that came out. It also comes in a big wide three inch crown. Which is beautiful for $150 uh, in the Northern Panama in a three. It's a beautiful three inch broom. Look at that quality, so it's not bad. Um, actually, when you get tighter and tighter in the weave and more expensive for Panama, they start getting hotter. Um, so there's a little more airflow in a $150 hat than a $375 hat. Uh, that might mean something to you, maybe not. You know? Alright, let's see what else. There's actually a few new things that I haven't, you know, I haven't been to work for a little while. So, um, you know, it's been uh, like two months. So there have been a couple of new things that have come in that I can't comment on. Now, everybody knows the Bushman is one of my favorite hats in the world. If you're an open row guy, it's a hat that comes open crown, $175 made in uh, Australia. It's exquisite. Okay, this is how they come to you, or they come to us out of the box. So you can tell me I want it with a cattleman crease, I want it with a center crease, I want it with a teardrop. I don't really particularly love the way they're shaped here. I think they were shaped by whatever, somebody in the shop that did this very generically. is a downturned fur felt hat that I also like a lot. It's one of the few fur felt rollable hats that you could roll up, put in a suitcase, put in your pocket, put in your jacket, uh, take it to a restaurant, take it on a date, take it on vacation, take it on a commuter train, and it's fine. Uh, it's a thicker, more rugged, thicker, like a Cougar, almost a western felt, but not that thick. But it actually rolls. You can roll it up. There's no leather sweatband on the inside, um, and um, it's incredible. The water waterproof quality is second to none. They last forever, and I like everything about it. I think it comes black with gray, which is unusual. The Style Master has all the same qualities, functionality, but it's more of a like a whippet type of a 1940s hat. It has a slightly higher crown and a slightly wider pinch. So a very common request is for people to tell me to take the crown and make it look more whippet-like, which is essentially uh, just lowering it a little, lowering the top and pinching it, and making a narrow pinch. Um, these pictures here are very inaccurate. Um, I don't even know what size they got. Looks like an odd size. Okay, that looks a little better. That's a typical style master. But uh, here's the teardrop girl, I guess. But they are exquisite. This kind of bluish gray, like a slate color, and then that sand color too, which is great. Um, yeah, I guess that looks okay. But yeah, you can make it look a little more with it. Like, uh, I personally like high crowns, but not everybody does. It's like just a quarter inch higher or an eighth of an inch higher. And whip it. You just kind of take the front and just push it down into itself right at the tip and roll it back. Roll that and pinch it tighter. Um, it takes us like 
less than a minute to change it for you. Um, the Madrid, oh yeah, that's a three inch brim custom made hat. It comes in a plum color. This is a, a blue, like a purplish slate. It's kind of like purple, but barely purple. You gotta see it in like the real sunlight. Otherwise, it looks like a slate gray or a charcoal. And then when the light hits it, you know it's purple. With a kind of like a bluish black band kind of contrasting it. So the colors are just so fashionable and high high fashion. It's got that Italian look, like you know, that you know, the colors were just really beautifully chosen. The styling is elegant as you just can't imagine a more elegant shape. Um, it looks great brim up, it looks great brim down. Um, it's a big brim, it's a three inch brim. Looks fantastic in the cognac and the plum. I love the cognac color. Let's see if we got a cool picture of it. Notice that. Come on. A three inch brim. It's awesome. I mean, I love it. Black. You know, everybody needs a wide brim black. Personally, I don't wear them, but I can see, you know, a lot of people need it. I love the cognac. It's awesome. Beautiful hat for any young man, any uh, 40 to, I don't know, 55 or 60 year old guy, you know, like me who's trying to look like a young guy. It's a, it's a hip hat, you know. It's a hip hat that's understated, not overdone. You can kind of get a little bit of that, like, Gary Clark Jr. vibe without looking like a trendy, dumb teenager, you know, who's wearing some, like, thousand dollar hat with cigarette burns and, like, matches sticking out of it. It's elegant, where it makes you look like a million dollars, or your clothing look fantastic, because it's cut like a million dollars. But the hat is uh, all custom quality, made in Madrid, Spain, by just a master, master felt maker, um, designed by us. You know, we, we told them all the specs. It's essentially a Borsalino crown with a bigger brim. Um, not quite as high a crown and not quite as wide a band as a Verity model, but it's something like that. We wanted to make a lower crown so it would be more accessible to you know, younger people. We thought it looked hip, and it does. So it's a beautifully designed hat. The sister hat to this would be the Cyrus, which comes in some of the same colors. Plum, it's also made by the same guy, Rocher, in, um, in Spain. The Cyrus is more velvety. So if you like that kind of real, um, I don't know what you call it, custom stuff. It's got a velvety texture and a shorter brown. So the Cyrus is the regular teardrop two and three eighths inch brim. The Madrid is the three inch huge brim version. Less of, less velvety, more of a regular standard fur felt. It looks very elegant, the standard finish. The, um, the more velvety finish, the color's a little bit more vibrant. You know, it brings out the plum and the cognac because it's kind of more velvety and, and you know, more plush. But some people feel it looks too custom. They like the, you know, just a regular the Ken is made by Rocher also. It's a hat that just replaced an old hat we used to have called the Cordoba. Uh, the Cordoba had a welted edge. We decided to kill the welted edge and change it to a raw edge with a whip stitch, which is like the, the European look, the Borsalino look. It gets a sharp, sharp, sharp edge like that. So it's a sharp edge with the, with the um, just cut with, you know, like a brim cutter, like a razor. And then they make it look even sharper by putting the very edge, they put some stitching on it. So it looks like the very edge is very tiny, like razor sharp. And that gives it that look. The welted look when you hem it over looks thicker. And it's got a cheaper look to somebody. To some people, I think it just looks more nostalgic. It's like a Sinatra era kind of a thing. You know, like an old man hat. But the can is a shorter brim. If you don't want to go two and three eighths inch brim, you want like two inch or two and an eighth. Or something, you know, smaller a little bit. It's uh. It's elegant in a medium brim hat. It's kind of like a Stetson Saxon, but, you know, like that super quality. And look at these colors, you know, like taupe. Taupe with brown. You can't get these colors in Stetson or American hats. They just don't make them. Um, you gotta go custom. So, um, it's incredible. We do the same hat as the can, the shorter brim, in a pure beaver. 100% 100x beaver. 
where the 100x bead remains a cone speed of chest of the bead, where the real underneath kind of downy stuff, you know, the downy fur, um, that's the softest, most expensive stuff. We, we make this out of, it's his best, best body. It's raw, it's unstiffened, it's uncolored, undyed, pure 100x bead for the same shape, two inch brim. Uh, same thing as the can, but it's the highest quality you could possibly imagine. And it feels like like heaven. It's the softest thing you ever felt. Um, it's also 20% off now. It comes uh, in just that color because it's clear beaver. Clear beaver is undyed. It's the way it looks. Um, the McGill Ontario is a hat that's styled to look like my green hat. It's like the Kevin model or something. The uh, problem with this hat is it's sold out really, really fast. Uh, but the uh, sapphire blue is exquisite, raw edge, super thick felt, excellent felt, uh, bulletproof. I love the quality. Uh, it's a Canadian company. It's got a good history. So they bought up all the stuff from Beaver Brand hats and have all their shapes and blocks and stuff now, which is great. They were a legendary company with some great shapes. Um, Let's see what else I can talk about here. Maybe one or two more. Okay, the Fulton. The Fulton is a hat that comes open crown by um, by building it. Okay, I have this hat. I bought it in um, like a burgundy color called Bordeaux. You know, uh, when it's open crown like this, it's a little funky and stuff. It's kind of like a Jimi Hendrix type of look or something. Or, you know, like a, I guess a modern, you know, trendy look. Um, but when you shape the hat, it's uh, basically a, uh, it's like a high crown vintage look. Um, I'll be able to crease here. So if you take this, this is a white, uh, looks like a turkey feather that's dipped with a gold leaf on the end. Um, but if you take that gold feather out, it's essentially a really good nostalgic hat, kind of like a Stradliner premiere with a high boxy crown. Uh, a couple of the vintage dudes I know wear it, like uh, Benji, um, who's a uh, mail order guy at the shop. He wears one of these Fultons. I have one. Uh, I have the Bordeaux color, which is really nice. Um, looks like Bordeaux. Do we have any Bordeaux? Yeah, we have some. Bordeaux is real nice too. I hope you've seen me wear this hat maybe once or twice. A little Hendrixy kind of thing, or you know, we can do all sorts of stuff with it. Is it an amazing hat? It's not an amazing hat, but it's a cool hat. Um, it's a well-made custom hat. Uh, Biltmore is a uh, quality brand. It is a raw edge, you know, they, they bring the raw edge, so I don't know if I'd recommend wearing it with huge rings and stuff. I haven't yet, so I can't really comment on that, you know, it's performance. But Biltmore has a super reputation, uh, one of the best reputations ever, you know. Alright, that's about it. I think I'm going to wrap this thing up. And I'm going to do a part two, so I don't make this thing too long. But, um, in the Ontario, the Metropolitan, we talked about. Metropolitan is the Stetson Temple, but in 100% pure beaver. Um, it's three times as thick as a temple. It's got a good snappy snap, although it's got also a velvety, velvety texture, like a very soft texture, but good, thick, snappy felt. Um, it's exquisite quality, beautiful quality. 350 for like an all beaver Stetson. It's incredible. Right now they're 20% off. That's like 70 bucks off. Um, so that brings you more into the 200s, not even in the 300 range. So it's excellent deal right now. 20% uh, off is something we're giving. I don't think anybody around is doing it. Um, we're doing it because, you know, we need that extra little push um, to get through, you know, this tragedy uh, that uh, the world is going through right now. Uh, we need the help, you know. We basically have an empty store uh, every day for two months. So it's... Uh, yeah, it's going to hit us, so anything uh, that you guys order is helping us, you know, keep the lights on. Uh, we've been around since 1911, and we're going to continue to be around, but uh, right now is a great time to order. Um, the stock is a little lower, but you can tell what we have in stock by just, you know, clicking on stuff. 
if you're not 100% sure, uh, you can ask me in the comments or you can just go info at jjhatcenter.com. It's on our website. There are people answering uh, the emails all the time now. Info at jjhatcenter.com. They'll let you know. I, I love the Metropolitan. It's probably the best quality Stetson uh, dress hat or best quality American made dress hat that there is right now. Um, I, you, you can't do better felt quality wise. And the smaller brim version is called the Benchley. It's almost the exact same hat. So, um, you know, if you really like uh, good, good quality hats and you've been scared to, you know, pull the trigger on it, now's a good time with a 20% off uh, Metropolitan. Gorgeous. Ooh, I haven't tuned this in a while. He's old Kevin, good old JJ, Hat Center. Way down, 